Hey, I'm Joel Campbell with ATS Automation's Life Sciences Group. And if you're looking at a new automation project for a new product or process that you're ramping up, then you know that planning and preparation is critical. And we're going to share some tips and tactics today that, believe it or not, tie back closer to your coffee maker than you would have thought possible. So let's get into it, but first, we'll get our coffee. So you're going down the journey of finding a new automation system or manufacturing platform. The three biggest things that you can be looking for or thinking about are going to be covered in this video. So the first one is around looking at, you know, what are your needs and your wants? The idea of automation is a pretty vast umbrella, just the same way as coffee makers are. So if you look at this image that we have here, you'll see that there are a couple of different classifications uh, of automation to consider. And so depending on where you're at in your manufacturing strategy, one or more of these may apply to you. So if we look at uh, sort of manual or lean cells, that's where you start to scale up or introduce some uh, processes or automated tooling. We could then move to a semi-automatic stage, which is sort of a natural progression. You could have a dedicated system. So this is typically things like a continuous motion system that will produce the same part over and over again. We have low volume, high product mix. So thinking about things around that, that batch size of one, uh, very customizable. We might get into combination products. So this might be the assembly of a device and then filling with a, a powder or a liquid. So sort of a, an auto injector or an inhaler, things like that. You might get into process equipment. So very specialized, maybe aseptic processing or a very specialized dispense pattern that you have to use or a high volume, highly redeployable, flexible system, something like our, our Symphony platform, where you might be able to run several different product types on the same system, the same platform. So thinking more about that, you know, we start to look at the needs and the wants as what do you need to have in there uh, as documented in your URS? You know, how are you, your user requirement specification? How are you going to put the product together? How are you going to validate that the part was done well? And then what sort of other platforms you're going to need to put into that. So what sort of inspection, data collection, um, how many operators, what's the throughput, things like that. That should be all part of the initial review for what it is that you want to get back out of the system. The next one is around planning for today versus tomorrow. So is this a machine that you're going to want to be able to scale up to get more production out of down the road? Uh, so maybe you want to have something that can have incremental growth. It may be something that you're looking at adding new products to the mix down the road. So how will the product design change generationally and how easy is that to retrofit back in afterwards? And how do you get the most utilization out of the equipment? So if it just runs one product type today, but runs at 50% utilization, should we start looking at something that can run more products to get better utilization across all shifts that you're running? So those are different ways you know, to think about what are my use case today versus tomorrow? Lastly, take into account your experiences. What are the things that you see in your facility today and your processes uh, and tie those back in and make sure you're upfront and clear around what you see in either your manual assembly or your, your legacy equipment, things like that. You know, maybe it's around uh, part jams or dealing with uh, response times, uh, data collection again, things like that to help you get the most out of your past learning experiences with automation and with the processes that you use today. So thanks again for watching. I hope you got some value out of this video and uh, click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. You know, please check us out on our new website that we launched and looking forward to talking more with you about how we can help uh, advance your automation and manufacturing strategies down the road. So thanks again and talk to you soon.